Hi, I'm Brittany from Blue Chip Marketing, and behind me is Brian from The Truce Line. You're watching True Beauty on the Daily Blue. Today, we're going to be talking about some of the true products and how you can use some of them to create a quick blowout for fine hair. Brian, you want to take over? Thanks, Brittany. <laughs> All right, so with our product line, we generally use a five-step five step system. And with fine hair, we're going to use our volume shampoo. Start with that. It's going to give the hair a lot of lift. Then we're going to go with our volume conditioner. It's going to condition the hair without weighing it down. Okay, then we start with our primer, okay, which is going to not only detangle the hair, but protect the hair against the sun and the heat elements, the heat products. Okay, and then we're going to go with our volume mist. Okay, that's going to give the hair a lot of lift and movement. And then we're going to go with, finish finally with our memory mist, which is a light hairspray. Okay, so before we begin, what we're going to do with, uh, with Brittany's hair is we're going to spray in our, our, pri our primer. We mist it in from the roots all the way to the ends of the hair. This is a great product too for the spring because with all the sun that your hair is exposed to. It's what we call again our foundation product. It's going to make all the products stick and adhere to her hair and her scalp. So once you spray in, what we do is we brush through all the way to make sure the product's distributed evenly. Okay, the next product we use is the Volume Mist. And with fine hair, we want to lift the hair and then we want to mist in, concentrating at the root area. Would you say it's best to spray this in when the hair is soaking wet or damp? It's best to go into the hair when it's wet and then again you're going to brush through to distribute evenly. Okay, then what you want to do is choose your brush. So we're going to be using the round brush today and it's the uh, thermal anti-static brushes. Okay. Generally, the size of the brush is going to determine the amount of lift and volume you're going to get out of the hair as well. So we're going to go with a smaller brush because we want a little bit more volume. So about a one and a half diameter. Okay. So we're going to start by turning the blow dryer on, flipping her head forward, and that's going to get 50% of the moisture out. We want to always try to get some of the moisture out of her hair before we go into it with the brush. Okay, so you can flip forward, please. I'll be back. Huh. So again, volume, volumizing, we're flipping forward and we're getting out a lot of the, a lot of the moisture. It's going to save you a lot of time when you're blow drying at home. You also want to keep, if you have the nozzle part of the blow dryer on, you want to keep that on. That's going to direct the airflow in one specific part of the hair. So you want to make sure you're moving all around the head, not just in one spot. And you're going from the, the roots to the ends. Okay, so she's starting to dry up now. So what we do is we have her flip back, please. Underneath. 
and now we're going to get the top part. And again, this is going to save you tons of time at home. Okay, so now you want to take your paddle brush and again just brush through, making sure there's no tangles in the hair. Okay, now if you have a bang, the first part you want to blow dry generally is the bang in the front. So you're going to take your round brush again, get right underneath, and you're going to start from the base to the middle to the ends. Go all the way down. Hold your blow dryer on a 45 degree angle. You don't want to lift too much in the bang area. You want the bang area generally to be a little bit flatter. It smells so good. <laughs> yeah, the products smell incredible. Made from mostly natural ingredients with a little bit of modern technology. If it says it's going to do something, it usually does. And they're all paraben free, is that correct? Yeah, they're all paraben free. Most of the shampoos are sodium chloride free. That's good. And that'll help if you have colored hair, the color will stay in longer, right? Exactly. Sodium free? Exactly. Okay. Yes. Okay, so now we're going to get to the side part first. And what we're going to do is section off her hair or your hair, you want to come straight across, clip up, take your round brush, mist a little bit more of your volume mist at the base. Okay, and now you're going to lift up at 90 degrees and that's going to give you the most volume you can get out of the hair. Okay, so you're going to come under and lift up and remember the nozzle is going to prevent the hair from blowing all over the place. So follow the brush. When you get to the ends, when it's almost dry is when you want to wrap. You want to wrap the hair down and then come in and then you want to heat it up from underneath. So you're going to lift, wrap, heat it up and then you're going to hopefully have a cool button on your blow dryer 
press your cool button and that's going to really lock it in. Okay, and then you're going to release. Then you're going to release the hair and spin out like that. So you're going to get a little bit of lift out of the hair, plus you're going to get a soft kind of a soft kind of a wavy bend to the hair. Okay. Okay, and then you're going to build yourself up. So you're going to go again from the bottom to the top. So now we're coming up again, 45 degrees to 90 degrees. I'll first come underneath. And then we'll come on top of the hair. That's another great way to smooth out the hair without compromising the volume. So we're going to come on top, underneath, rotate all the way through, heat up, cool down, and then spin out. It does. When you're on top of the hair, especially on top of the hair, you're taming down all the little broken pieces and flyaways. Mm -hmm. So you're going to prevent it from frizzing out. So again, once you get to those edges, you're going to wrap the hair, heat it up, cool it down. Feel it getting cooler, right? Yeah. And then you're going to just slowly unwind your hair and just come right out with it. Look at that. Okay, and again, I'm going to go right to this section here. Come up. It's a fun, modern way to blow out your hair. It's quick, easy, and it's a lot less damaging than using any kind of irons. So all those loose waves are very in right now for spring. I keep seeing in all the celebrities. Yes, loose waves are always in. Beachy waves. It's a great way to kind of get that, that lift, you know, at the root. Plus you're getting that soft kind of bend to the hair. So that's what I'm going to be doing as I go to the back. I'm going to be taking a section out from halfway. right above her occipital bone, halfway. You only need to do really two big, two or three big sections with finer textured hair. If your hair is thicker, then you have to take smaller sections. But remember to always keep it simple. So again, I'm just Heating up the hair, coming on top. I'm at that 45 degree angle. Now I'm coming under at 90. common mistakes you see with people blow drying their own hair? Well, one of the most common mistakes is people just usually blow dry their hair by going into the hair when it's soaking wet. If you do that, it's going to really take a long time to blow dry your hair. So again, the way we first started was flipping her head over, getting out 50 to 60 percent of the moisture, and then you want to take your your blow dryer into the hair. Well, another thing that you taught me before we were washing my hair, which I didn't know, was how to dry your hair properly to prevent breakage. Right, and, yeah, another really mistake cool. people, people make is that when they're towel drying their hair, they tend to take the towel and shake their hair. 
and what happens is it just tears up the cuticle part of your hair. So never do that when you're trying to absorb the water. You just want to kind of gently pat it out. That was my biggest mistake. <laughs> Most people make that mistake. And again, you know, another mistake is choosing the wrong products. Right. You know, um, if you want a little bit of lift and bend to the hair, you're not going to use something that's going to smooth you out too much. So you're better off using some volumizing products. Like today we used a volume mist. And at True, you have products for all hair types, correct? I'm sorry? So for me, for at True Salon, this would be my product, would be the volumizing spray. But for someone with really thick hair who has maybe a lot of curls or something, what, would, um, what one would they use, would you suggest? Yeah, so again, if you have really thick hair and you want to get it smooth, we have a great product called Straight Mist. And that's a mist that you're just going to spray onto the hair, hit it with some heat, it gets the hair silky smooth, and it makes the hair look like glass. Yeah, for people that want to wave their hair, we have the Curl Cream, which has argon oil in it. It's going to moisturize the hair and really get it to wave out nice. And to prevent the frizzies, we have a product called Grooming Cream. Just a drop of that and you're not going to frizz out. And men can use that one too, right? Men can use it as well. It's really, really light good, and controls. Men controls with curly hair. hair. Oh yeah. Good. So again, continue going around the head. In this case, from left to right, on top, underneath, On top, follow the brush, 45, wrap in, heat up, turn out, and release. And the whole idea is to get that little bit of bend, that little bit of soft wave, not so neat looking, a little bit disheveled, and that's what makes it look new and modern. Okay, so now we're going to that top section. Coming on top of the hair. Smooth out. Why are using the product so important when doing your own blowout. What product, do they help the, do? the products again, they're going to help to, you know, set a foundation. You know, they're going to help to prevent breakage. You know, you're going to you're going to uh, prevent breakage from the heat of the blow dryer or any kind of irons that you use. In this case, we're going to get that volume. You know, a lot of the times people maybe they don't use any kind of product at all or a cheap product and it just doesn't work. It either mm -hmm. coats the hair kicks it up, weighs it down. You know, our products, if they say they're gonna do something, they, again, nine times out of 10, they usually do. And will it help it last longer, the style, throughout the day? Definitely, it'll help it last longer, especially with uh, the paste that we have. Mm -hmm. We have different kinds of paste and pomades that'll define the hair separate the hair, make it last long, the hair sprays, the memory mist is really, really light, so it's not going to cake up on you, be stick and stiffy. Oh, that's good. Especially for fine hair, I feel like that's the problem I have a lot, products weigh my hair down. Exactly, yeah, these are, again, made for fine textured hair. It's really good. Specifically designed for that. So again, remember to go from your base to your middle to your ends. A lot of the times people tend to skip that and they go right from the base, right from the beginning and just go rush right through to the end. You're never going to be really drying your hair the right way if you do that. So it's important to really do it right and go right through.
So as I get to the middle, I start to twist and then peel out. Myself all these years. <laughs> most most people do, and you know, and that's why these little lessons are fun and, and important to uh, to see how to how to create that volume with that soft little wave. I know most girls think that. At least I thought that you had to use so many different styling clues to create this wave, and now nice to know that all you really need is a blow dryer. Exactly, a blow dryer, the right brush, and the right products, and you can really get the hair to move in different directions without using excessive heat. So it's really, really fun, really easy. i split this in half. Top, under, heat it up, cool it down, spin it out, and then softly release. Top, sides, under. Going all the way through to the ends, wrap, under again, heat it up, pull it down, spin it, and then you're just going to release the hair. Okay, so you can flip over one more time. Okay, now when you're just about dry, making your bends, you just wanna flip forward. And then swing on back. So soft. Soft, <laughs> silky. It is. So we have that little bit of volume, that little bit of bend. It's slightly disheveled. It looks great. It's a modern, a modern blow dry that just about anybody can do at home themselves when you're using the right tools. And it feels really light, you're right. It doesn't feel like it's being weighed down by a bunch of products. Right. Okay, so now we're gonna finish with our memory mist hairspray. Misting lightly. And at this point, you have a chance to define the hair a little bit if you wanted to do that. Or you could just kind of leave it sort of disheveled and messy as well. I'm just spraying, twisting a little bit. Separating the hair. Your hands are basically doing the job of a curling iron. Yeah, again, yeah, yeah. It's for finishing. We're just gonna twist what we already previously blew out. If you want to go for the definition. So it shouldn't take you any more than a couple of minutes just to blow dry in total and to finish out, you know, maybe a minute or so.
So light burst of spray. And you can twist either backwards or forwards. And you have that nice, voluminous, soft, disheveled, modern blow dry. Wow. Thank you, Brian. You're welcome. Yeah, and as he said, it's very light. It feels really soft. I mean, definitely voluminous compared to what I'm used to. So the products work. And if you're interested in buying the True Salon products, you can stop by the True Salon in St. James. Brian, what's the address? We're at 437 North Country Road. And you could also go online to thetruesalon.com and check out all their products and services. And if you want to recreate this look and you think you need some help, stop by their salon. One of their stylists can help you out, show you how to do it, and give you the look that you want. Take it home with you and try it yourself, too. All right, thank you. You are watching True Beauty with me, Brittany, and Brian from The True Salon. Tune in next week on Monday at 1030. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.